Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today, we've got Detective Williams' video, but this one is When a Fake Cop Pulls Over a Real Cop. And we're gonna get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment what you think down below. Let's go. That's not what I heard. No, I would never do that. So what are you doing? I just got the siren today. It For what purpose? It came from Amazon. So it's the wrong person over who had a gun and who does not like police. And he gets out and starts shooting. Guess what? You have no way of defending yourself. On June 21st, 2021, an off-duty officer who was driving home from work noticed a Jeep flashing amber and white lights speeding through Kenosha, Wisconsin. The officer noticed the Jeep pull up multiple cars with the lights activated and then turn on a siren. The Jeep would pull up behind the cars for a few seconds before driving off. As the off-duty officer attempted to get closer to the Jeep to write down the license plate number and peek at the driver, he found himself the victim of the driver's strange behavior. Behavior. The Jeep got behind him and turned on the sirens only to speed off as the officer pulled over. The officer, who was still in uniform, followed the driver and motioned him to pull over and wait for the deputy officer to arrive. A sheriff's deputy arrived on the scene and noticed the- What the hell dumb ass is he doing? What type of dumb moron? Uh, buys sirens off of Amazon, buys uh, lights off of Amazon, buys a siren, and uh, tries to pull people over and thinks he won't get any shit for doing this. What is his dumb ass thinking? The off-duty officer standing with the 19-year-old suspect, Sam Sergei Knuth. What follows will make this one of the most bizarre cases I've ever seen. Uh, I'm on my way home, and he's turning this strobe light on and he's got a siren, he curbs two cars, and then blows past them, goes through a red, and then he's just using this little light bar on top here with these sirens. Look at that. Yeah. What's going on, man? I was just driving home. I just got this thing off of Amazon. What thing? The siren. Are you trying to pull people over? No. Well, you followed him a pretty good distance. I followed him? Yeah, I heard him all the way from... 52. Yeah. And you try to curb two cars on 52nd Street and use lights and the sirens so they pull over and stop. You pull them next to them and then you blow past them. I think I tried to yell you. No, 52nd. Yeah. I actually think this guy thinks he's like just gonna go, no, I didn't do that. And they're like, oh, of course. Well, if he says he didn't do it, he must not have done it. We're good. Well, I also appreciate he's keeping the lights on. So he's like, the fuck he's like, oh, I got these from Amazon, the sirens, and I'm just driving home, I'm using the sirens I got from Amazon, I'm thinking I'll get him out of shit. What? What a dumbass. I'm on my way home. Right. So we're going down 5-2, and then all of a sudden I see this white and yellow flashing light on top of the car, and I'm going along, and all of a sudden I notice this guy's like flying, and he's coming up behind cars and making him move over to the shoulder with the siren, and then they pull over and stop. <laughs> And then Does he, he would stop behind him? Yeah, he would pause and stop and then accelerate around him and take off with the, the siren. And then he would race up behind the next car and make that one pull over and curb. And then same thing, he'd race around it. Okay. So then I'm trying to get up on the side of him to see if I could get a look at him. I wrote down his license plate, I turned my radio on, and as I get up next to him, he slows down, pulls behind me, turns the siren on, and I move into the lane next to him and then he blows past me. Okay. So when he came up to a red light, I looked at him and I'm like, pull over and stop, and then he takes off. And he ran two red lights. Okay. What red lights did he run? Uh, this one? So this one here for sure. And Coming then, northbound or? Uh, so eastbound. And, and then, then into the northbound. Turned red and then he made the left. And then uh, the other one that he ran was 104th and 52nd. Okay. At first, Sam denied pulling over anybody, but had a strange reason for the lights and siren. Is it Amazon recently? A siren? Why? I've already wanted one. For what purpose? The PA system. To do what? Talking to it mostly. Then it had a siren in it, and I didn't really know it had a siren. And I was f***ing with it. I did construction, landscaping. That's the light on the top. What's with the yellow and white bar? That's amber. Okay, That's so. For construction. So, so are you doing construction, construction right now? No. So why do you have it on? Because I saw him behind me. You got any weapons on you? No. Stand up for me. Turn around. Just 
this guy deserves to be arrested. He's probably the definition of stupid. Purely, purely stupid. If this wasn't enough madness already, Sam had yet another strange reason for running through red lights. What's with the red lights? Why are the red lights? What red lights? This one, and then the one on 104th and 52nd oh, Street. I was like 200, 100 feet maybe before the red light. And Did you have your siren on when you were going through the red light? Uh, I don't know. I, I have my horn on, I think. What horn? A little like that horn. The air horn? My brakes are sh this thing, and you know, like, I can't really stop very good on it, so it hit, it hit yellow before I was like able to like stop real quick, so I just kind of like hit the air horn. Hold on, so the reason you went by the red lights is because your ass was speeding down the street and couldn't stop. Yeah, that's a real good reason. I, was, I just got it today. So it sounds like you tried to pull over three people. No, I no. That's not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you got behind him, hit your light and your horn, put him to the curb, stop stop behind him for several seconds, and then sped around him. No, I didn't do that. That's not what I heard. No, I would never do that. So what are you doing? I just got the siren today. It for what purpose? It came from Amazon. He's got a whole light bar that's not linked up. These strange reasons for his behavior only made the officers more suspicious of, of Sam. Of course! The officers alleged... Because his reasoning made no damn sense. The man's not thinking straight. They're literally... He's not even making any sense. ...that Sam might have been trying to impersonate a cop, which is not only extremely stupid, but a very serious offense. He's not good at it. He's not even... Per like... He's not even good at impersonating cops. He just wants to pull people over and leave. I don't know what his... It's really not smart. Literally not, not trying to impersonate no one. You know when you're pulling people over with a light flashing, it is impersonating, right? I wasn't trying to impersonate no one, though. Like, I'm not in uniform. I don't have a uniform. I don't have any firearms. I, I, I really love you guys. I really honestly do. I'm not trying to impersonate no one. Impersonate, impersonate no one. So what were you going to do with this other light bar that's in here? Um, that's the other thing. I was going to mount it. I just picked that up from my dad's house. It's from a racing lawnmower that I built for the high school. It used to go on the floor. It was, it's orange. Um, well, about these lights up here, they could be construed as, they look like they could strobe, and they're white. Um, those are white strobe lights. You understand where we're going with this, right? Right, I understand. It, I, I really fucked up. I totally get it. Oh, this guy's stupid. This guy's really stupid. Just purely stupid. Well, what were you going to pull him over for? Just out of curiosity. I wasn't trying to pull anybody over. I just, I got it today. I so what were you to, following was, him for then? I was just driving. And I know what I, I Where were you headed to? In a grove. I was just messing with the with the other, the different sounds on the siren. Because I live in a residential area. And I thought, like... I don't know. I should have taken. I don't know. I didn't know where I, where I could really play the thing. You, you understand? Okay, so not only is it something that's. I'm just going to straight out say stupid. Right. You're not armed, right? No. What happens if you try. I'm just saying, I'm not accusing you of anything right now, okay? But what would happen if you tried to pull the wrong person over who had a gun and who does not like police and he gets out and starts shooting? Guess what? You have no way of defending yourself. Nevertheless, that this is a crime for you impersonating a police officer. You know that, right? I'm not trying to impersonate no one. Everything that is occurring right now yeah. is pointing that way. It's not smart. Yeah. You're going to end up getting yourself hurt over something stupid just because you want to play around. After running. This is the one thing I'll give police. They're 100% right when it comes to police impersonators. You are putting your life at risk if you impersonate a police officer. Because if you pull over the wrong person who doesn't like police and who ain't gonna put up police shit and want to like take out a police officer, all it takes is that and he comes out with a gun and starts shooting and you, you're impersonating a police officer, you're going to get killed. That's all it takes because you can't defend yourself. So police, yeah, police person is 100% putting their lives at risk.
happening a background check, the officers find out that Sam is on probation for a conviction in 2020 for intimidating a victim and disorderly conduct. But that's not all. He was charged with four counts of fourth degree sexual assault, which were all dismissed due to a plea agreement. If you're on probation for whatever the case is, and I'm sitting here drawing attention you should myself. literally be going, going to work, I'm going done. home, I'm and that's it. You shouldn't be going to any bars. You shouldn't be going right, okay. anywhere after Bro, whatever. To, this, guys do all, stupid stuff all the time. We just had a guy yesterday. He was out on probation and whatever else, and the guy decides to go to the bar with his old lady, and guess what? Now he's going to go to prison for <laughs> three, four years because... You know, it's like, just stay at home. I get it. I, mean, I mean, I get you have a life and I get you're 19, but, you know. three jobs. Right, I get it, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know. How did my, you stupid, you're 19 years old and you got charged with, and you got charged both degree sexual assault, disorderly conduct, intimidating a witness, you're on probation for that, and now you're about to go jail for impersonating a police officer? He's 19 years old. He's younger than me, and he's way more stupider than I could be. Your decisions in the past, you know, brought you to here, so it's right. like, right. you just need to stay home, stay out of trouble. Right. Noticing his lame excuses aren't working for him, Sam eventually agrees that he was indeed trying to impersonate a cop. So here's what I think happened, okay? I think you got this new light today, and it's cool. You got a new light, you got a new siren, it's fun. Yeah. Then you realize you turn it on and people pull over for you like you're a cop. So you thought, hey, this is kind of fun. I'm going to pull behind him like a cop because you like the cops. That's great. And then, well, maybe I probably shouldn't go far with this, but that was cool and then kept going. Yeah. Is that about right? Yeah. Fantastic, I was but on the Gracie County Sheriff's Explorer post as a kid. Um, I've always, I've always dreamt to be. I don't know. You've always wanted to be a cop. Yeah. It just didn't work out for you. No. And it happens. Unfortunately, it some happens. people just doesn't work out. But tonight, you were trying to act like you're a cop a little bit, right? Right. And not you weren't. You were like, hey, I'm gonna go full blown here. We're no, gonna pull no, someone I'm, over, get him out of the car, and I'm. Right. But a little part of you, right. right? You're like, I have a light on, I have a siren. They pulled over for me. It's like I'm a cop right now, right? And unfortunately, one of those cars was a police car. And that's why we're here today. Yeah, smart. Yeah, he's like, oh, shit. I was trying to kick in. He's just like, one of those people with police. He's like, shit. It's like they did sick kids on that. He's like, I pull over a police car. Well, that, that's, uh, I'm fucked. He was just. So you essentially pulled over somebody as a cop, but you're not a cop. Does that sound right? I mean, we understand what you're saying, that you're not getting out, you're not IDing people, you're not right. doing all that, I, but you can't stop cars out here. Right? I understand. Especially, you pull somebody over and they think you are a cop. You're not ready for that, are you? Somebody gets out of the car and comes after you, you're not trained for that, right? You're not ready for that, right? And then what happens? And then somebody that doesn't like the cops and they think you are a cop and they get out and they come back after you, what do you think happens? Maybe get killed. Maybe. Hurt. You never know. Hurt. And that's the problem with people that are not cops acting like they are. You're not trained or prepared for it. See how that's a problem? Not to mention, in the past, there have been people who are trying to pretend they're cops for bad reasons. Right. You obviously tonight didn't do anything further than pull behind them like you're doing a traffic stop. But how do we know that in another mile, the next car you pull over, you're like, you know what? They think I'm a cop. I'm going to play this and all further. I'm going to go up and we don't know. We don't know you. You see how that's a problem? Does that make sense? So you having a little bit of fun tonight with your new light and siren very well could have ended poorly or yeah. differently or had we not stopped you who knows what could have happened we don't know could have been seriously hurt, yeah. 
Correct. As the deputy officer warns Sam of the repercussions of his actions, Sam cannot stop smirking, thinking he can justify his creepy and dumb behavior. But from his previous charges and the current incident, something tells me that his criminal career is just getting started. Now that he's played a cop, it's time for Sam to play a prisoner. Am I under arrest or detained? I'm detained. You're detained. Yeah. Okay. You work in the morning? What time do you work in the morning? Seven. Seven. What's that? I'm gonna be at the shop at some point. Okay. So I'm gonna be honest with you. We're calling your PO right now. And we're gonna let him know that you were using the siren. We're gonna let him know that you were at a bar. I let him know that you weren't drinking, that you blue zeros, and that you've been cooperative. Um, but we're also gonna do a summons. As of right now, it's just gonna be a summons for impersonating a police officer. It's a misdemeanor. Okay. Your PO, I don't know what your PO is going to do, if he's going to want to hold you or not, that's up to him. But I'm being honest with you, because you've been honest to cooperate with us. Absolutely. Okay. Kind of work. Yep. So let's just have a seat back on the bumper. Once we hear back, we'll let you know, okay? So I don't think his smirk is him trying to justify his behavior. I think his smirk is just fappy he's getting a bunch of attention from officers. I just think that's it. Definitely. So, they decided they're gonna hold you. So. Well, like Ted Grayson, he's not a weekend, so you don't have to sit there for three days before you get... As a lover of cops, Sam really hit the jackpot. He got to talk to a bunch of them, ride in their car, and even got an extended tour of the police facility. It was only his bad luck that this fake cop managed to run into a real cop and got caught. You have a seat at that brown chair. Step up, we'll go over there. Head of that silver desk on you, right? Finally, Sam was detained and charged with impersonating a police officer, a misdemeanor. He was cited for violation of a red traffic light and unlawful siren or horn. Sam was given a $2,500 signature bond and was held in Kenosha County Jail on a probation hold. If you enjoyed this video, Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this reaction video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.